Hello, I am here with Roger Jenkins, Peer Advisory Chair for Vistage and Executive Coach. Roger has just graduated from the Resilient Transformation Academy with some amazing results and here to share his journey. And I'd just like to welcome you, Roger, and say thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. You know, you had such an amazing transformation inside the Resilient Transformation Academy, and I would love for you to just share before you and I met, what were some of the challenges that you were facing before you and I started working together? Wow, big challenges. Uh, sleep, I almost never got a complete night's rest. It was not unusual to be awakened uh, two or three times during the night and sometimes two or three hours during the night. So sleep was a big issue. Um, tension, stress, put those together. It was, uh, I was living a le leftover lifestyle inside. Uh, I wasn't working like I used to, but after 37 years of running a company, having goals to meet, every month you start all over, you've got a profitability uh, problems, you've got employee problems, you, you just, the stress of management. I think I did a good job with it, but it had its weight. And after 37 years, my, my body had learned, as you explained to me about my body had learned to live in a state of stress where uh, the nervous system between the brain and the heart just weren't, they weren't clicking the way they should. And uh, by the way, Julie, you explained that. Uh, doctors hadn't explained it to me. Uh, no one had ever explained it to me the way you did. So that helped me make my decision. But, you know, when you look at the before and after snapshot, uh, I feel something like uh, the book Good to Great or, or the movie The Tale of Two Cities or something. I mean, it's just two totally different stories we're talking about here. You know, I think it's really interesting because when I met you and we went through the application, you said, I don't really have a lot of stress in my life right now. I love what I do. But as you mentioned, it was all those years of running companies and feeling stress, even though you didn't feel as much of it right now in your current life, it took a toll on you inside your nervous system. And so that taking a toll on you, especially as we get older and we change our lifestyle, Unfortunately, a lot of the damage has been done, which takes effect in chronic disease states. And when we face that, then we're like, how do we reverse these? And a lot of times the traditional methods of, re of reversing these are diet, exercise, medication. So let me ask you, what was your main motivation for doing the program? It was probably I wanted to get off of medicine. I wanted to be able to have a blood pressure level. Uh, failed to mention that, that was a huge emphasis on this. I wanted to have a blood pressure level that was normal without feeling like I was, uh, uh, as a friend of mine put it one time, medication made me feel like sometime I was trying to run a marathon in peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It just it just was slow motion sometimes. Um, my focus, most of my life, I've dealt with top executives of big corporations, and my focus had to be dead on. I was not feeling as focused. Sometimes I'd feel more focused than others, but I, I could tell a big difference, and I wanted my focus back. I wanted my, I wanted control of my blood pressure. Um, like I, I told you at the beginning, I didn't think I was stressed. I didn't realize how much stress I was carrying with me that was leftover stress. Yeah, a lot of times we don't realize it because we've conditioned the body to live that way. And we just think oh, that's just a normal part of life. But then the stress starts running the show and we just think that's normal. So, Roger, what have you done in the past to try to fix this problem? What did you do? You know, diet, exercise, all the typical things you hear all the time from doctors. Uh, oh, this medication don't work. Let's take that one. Ah, let's augment that and put another one with it. Oh, by the way, that broke this. Let's fix that. And I was, I was just sick and tired of, of, of the medicine gerbil wheel they had me running. And, and um, you know, I've always been pretty decent about exercise. I, I walk quite a bit. I'm not going to say I go to the gym and, and do all, all that all the time, but I walk a lot with, with my dogs and, and I've got a small farm I like to work on. And, you know, I'm all the time out doing something on that. So 
I'm, I'm not a sedimentary type guy. I'm always moving, but I would, I'm, I'm not sure anything really changed from my before and after, before I sold my company, after I sold my company. The only thing that changed is maybe my pace a little bit. I slowed down, uh, but my body was, as you so well explained it, my body was wired for that constant battle, that constant fight, that constant get ready, something else is coming around the corner. Yeah, and during the program, you were able to unwind that in your nervous system. And so this is a really different program. And I'm wondering when you first came in, was there any skeptical thing that you were like, oh, I'm not sure about this? Was there anything that you're just like, mm, maybe not? What was your thoughts? Like, what did you think when you first started the program? I tried to come into it with an open mind. But I think there was some thoughts of, is this another voodoo magic? Everybody wants to sell something. Good gracious, get on the internet, and there's a pill to fix every problem you've had. And some to fix problems that you don't have. I mean, everybody's trying to sell something. And I wanted to make sure that I was getting value for the dollar I was spending. Uh, I think, and, and I want to, this is the point I really want to make strong. I think there's a lot of value in the dollars you ch charge for this program, but they are not out of line. They're not out of line with what I got out of it. Uh, I'm just, uh, people in my position, uh, they don't successfully run companies for 37 years making bad decisions. You're always slightly skeptical. I brought that same skepticism to this. You're always wanting to know that if I spend a dollar, I'm gonna get two back. Uh, it's things like that. The normal business think that a CEO or a top executive gives to their job, they're going to bring to this. And all I can say is, is I brought the same skepticism, uh, skepticism gone. Well, thank you for sharing that. And so people are probably like, okay, well, what are the results? What did he get out of it? So what's different about your life right now? Did you get what you came in to get the focus, the better sleep, the more energy share with people that are listening, what the value is that you received? Okay. Now getting a full night's rest is not uncommon at all. Uh, in fact, if I'm before, if I had one good night's sleep out of a month, I felt like that was a victory. Now, if I have one bad night, I feel like, ah, what's wrong? Let's think about this. And, you know, maybe tomorrow night I, I do my, I'll do some uh, inner balance exercises and I'll get myself ready for bed and relax before I go to bed. And and it's just, it's real easy to control. I think probably the number one thing that, that, that I'm going to say I walked away from it with is a tool that I can use anytime, anywhere. Uh, a simple tool. It's not something I have to carry in my pocket. It's something I carry in my mind, my heart, uh, my, my being. Um, I really, really like feeling that when that moment comes, as we've talked about before, God made our bodies for that big stress. Here comes a dinosaur. I got to run. I got to kill it. I got to do something. Ah, fine. I'm good. Let's go. Let's relax again. He made our body for that. He didn't make our, make our body for a constant fight from the dinosaur running from it 24 hours a day. The business world is like that. It's like running from the dinosaur that's trying to eat you 24 hours a day. You gave me a tool to make the dinosaur go away. Wow. Love how you said it's a tool that's in my mind, heart, and body. So when that tool starts to take effect in your mind, heart, and body, is there something that you can share with people that gives them a tangible understanding of, and I just remember one time that you were, you were in a meeting, a group meeting, and somebody said something that kind of got under your skin and made you frustrated. How did you use the tool in that moment to bring your mind body back into balance and alignment? Well, fortunately, the focus wasn't on me during that meeting and, and uh, uh, I needed some things to happen that weren't happening. So, I honestly, I just sat there and without anybody knowing, I just, I started going into our inner balance exercise and I sat there and, and, and at first it was kind of hard to know what I was feeling and know where it was going. After months of exercise with you and learning it and figuring it out, it took me maybe a couple of minutes and, and I'm ready. And then 
then I was able to speak and speak with clarity, speak with focus, speak with directness and accomplish what I came to accomplish without any of the typical frustration that usually crawled up on me during these times. God, it's so big. You know, so many of us will experience whether it's business or personal that we may feel frustrated by some communication in the moment. And in that frustration, we may react versus respond. And if we react, unfortunately, a lot of times we're reacting in anger or we're saying things that we wish we could grab those words and put them back in our mouths and change what we were saying. So what I'm hearing you say is that you felt it in the moment, you felt the frustration, you were able to turn off that fight or flight response that we would have if a dinosaur is chasing us, bring your brain and your body into homeostasis and balance, and you chose a response. You didn't react, you chose a response. And inside of that, you were able to redirect the conversation in a way that achieved your outcome. So. Yes, that is exactly what happened. But I think the importance of, of what I've learned is again, we talk about fight or flight. I used to have a saying, I'd say, you know, fight or flight, and I have no wings. I always felt like I was fighting. I don't feel like it really has to be fight or flight. I feel like it can be controlled and, and let's drive this car through it. Uh, whether you're a race car driver or whether you're a business owner, uh, you've got to drive through it. You've got to figure out what are the next big things I've got to accomplish? What's my one thing that if I accomplish this year, we've got to think through them and we've got to think through them through clarity. And right in the middle while we're planning, then our plan is just somebody throws an emotional bomb, a uh, hand grenade right in the middle of it. And those are the times that normally at fight or flight mode comes up and it doesn't have to. And and I've been pretty lucky most of my life. I've not made too many bad decisions during those times, but I came out of them an emotional wreck. And, you know, like, Ugh, where's the next fight? You know, something's coming around the corner. Uh, as a child, there's a monster about to get me. I got to pull the cover over my head. It's just so much calmer and peaceful, and, and it's a peace I can feel. And, and that's what I really, really enjoy most. Wow, it's the peace that you can feel. You know, it really, it, it really points to most people that I start to work with come in with the baseline of anxiety or frustration or overwhelm, like they've conditioned their nervous systems to be that way. So what I'm hearing you say is that you really rebuilt your nervous system from the inside out, brought it into that balance and homeostasis, and you can turn off the fight or flight response, get into that state of coherence in your brain, in your body, anytime, anywhere. And yeah. so as I hear you say that, you know, it just, it really translates into business. Like what you do as an executive coach and, and a Vistage chair, you're helping other people navigate this as well. So as you're helping other people navigate this as well, what are you knowing as, or seeing as the results of you being a leader? How is this affecting you being a more efficient leader? I think I think my way through problems instead of fighting my way through problems. Mm -hmm. And I'm teaching the executives I work with, I, I work with, I don't know, roughly 30 executives uh, of which several of those are with one company. They dealt with a tragic death last week. And, you know, my response to that was, okay, let's be calm. It's time to be the best friend, best mentor, best coach they've ever seen. And we went through that. These guys were absolutely amazing. We worked through it. We talked through the issues, talked through, you know, what are the possibilities here? What are the issues that could come up? How do we make the the uh, the deceased family know that that deceased was valued? How do we handle? How do we take care of the priorities first and the necessaries later? And and so it's taught me that about you know slow down, prioritize. We need to know that which is important, that which is going to have impact, and that which is is immediate. And and we teach those things and work with them, and we do it with so much clarity. It's just. Uh, Again, I, the calmness and peace is, is, is the best words I can use to describe it. You know, calmness and peace is so important because what I'm also hearing you say and, and relating to what you said earlier, in your brain and body and, and spirit, that as you bring that calm and peace into your spirit as a leader, 
what I'm really hearing you say in dealing with that death of one of the employees of your executives is you went to what is the emotional state of how we can serve the family of the loved one that was lost, that you were able to stay connected and learn about what, what is it as the beingness, not the doing, we're human beings, not human doings. And in business, we can get all like the facts, let's get down and making things happen. Mm -hmm. To me, the way that you describe that is really the spirit of your beingness and being able to drop into your heart and serve from a different, a different perspective, especially in such a painful time. Yes. Yeah, really beautiful. Well, you, you had such incredible results in this program. So I'd love to hear what about the time that you put in to get the results? Like, did you spend hours each week doing it? Did you spend minutes a day? What was the amount of time that you put in to get these kind of results? The real answer is I spent as much as I could afford to spend some days. And these were my better days by far. Some days, uh, I love it when I wake up about, I, I haven't used the alarm clock in years because I always wake up early. Uh, when I wake up at say 530, quarter till six, I would get up and get me a cup of coffee and come sit down and and just relax. And that's my moments of prayer and meditation. Those are times when I just have my quiet time. And, and I started uh, augmenting uh, prayer and meditation with inner balance. And I would sit here and I would get calm and, you know, you can't see it there, but I've got the screen spread across my desk and I'd have a beautiful scene of, of uh, the Alps, uh, snow-capped mountains on one page. And I'd have uh, on the inside of a cabin looking out on another page and watching deer and antelope play in, in the field on another page. I'm listening to the music. And I'm just sitting here. I mean, I'm feeding all my sensories I can feed with positive, soft, life is good type uh, moments. And I might spend an hour at that. And uh, yeah, I, I was, I was from what you say, I, I was, I was amazed with my performance myself. Uh, when we look at how the point system works and look at how your um, how the, the wave between your heart and your mind works and measuring that and seeing the results, I was very pleased with that. But then there was day there were days that I might have five minutes or ten minutes or fifteen minutes, or I might be at a at a, at a, a conference. I'm I'm shoving an inner balance session in between, you know, two two breakout sessions or something. I took what I had by far the days I had the hour. Uh, and there's some days I did it more than an hour, but I don't, that wasn't very normal. If I could peel out 15 to 30 minutes, that was great. If I had an hour, that was fantastic. But five minutes also did some good. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. Even if you just do it for five minutes, it resets the, the brain and the nervous system to bring you in that homeostasis and balance. And the results of that is clearer focus, better decision making, more connection with people. Mm -hmm. So, Roger, how would you explain this to a friend? Uh, I think the easiest way is usually I'll pull up my phone and I'll show them where we're measuring from a sensor on our earlobe. We're measuring our nervous system. And the first time you showed this to me, it was a big aha moment. Like, okay, that's what I'm doing. That's where I'm making a difference. And the, the first wave as it should have been looked more like a jagged bunch of rocks laying there. Yeah. And then a month later, it's looking like a few less jags. And we get down to about three months or so, and it's looking like a very nice wave sign. And I can see my breathing's better. You, you explained to me, and, and by the way, I've done a lot of independent reading, that we as Americans, we run at such a pace, we are shallow breathers. We have taught ourselves to be shallow breathers. Oxygen's the fuel of life, and, and, and you know we're feeding our body with oxygen, and I'm, I've got a measurable level. We can sit here and talk about it, and that's abstract, but when we plug a sensor up, and I can sit there and watch it, and I could cough, and I'd watch it do this, or or I could look over at something and you can see the results of the feedback was tremendous to me. But just seeing if I took day one and day 120 and compared them, it was it was just such a beautiful, beautiful thing to see that I was 
gaining on this problem. I built it over, you know, 40 plus years in business. And over four months, I felt like I was getting it in control. Yeah, just to watch your journey and the data doesn't lie. Like with the data when you first started to when you ended is completely different. And thank you for sharing your journey. So, you know, people might ask, okay, well, is it going to stick or is he going to use this a year from now? How are you going to use this moving forward? Oh, I use it every day. I use it every day. Sometimes, like yesterday, uh, I was in meetings all day long. Uh, great meetings. Really enjoyed them with a bunch of fantastic guys. But it was a it was a high pitch meeting. You know, it's like okay, I'm 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 trying to take notes. I'm listening to what everybody's saying and ideas. This is one of those meetings. There's so many ideas. I almost needed two scribes to keep up with all the notes I was trying to take. And uh, in the middle of the day, I just stopped and said, okay, let's reset and uh, let's go back to the second half and do it again. Uh, then there's some days like I'm I'm working on a project right now. I'm doing some consulting with a young couple that are building a house, and we're very concerned about uh, why costs have escalated. And I've started doing an audit of the expenses and everything. And there's some things in there that are ugly, and I'm sitting there and I, you know I'm like getting mad. I'm, I find myself like, oh man, this is this is not right, and and I get frustrated and that fight or flight wells up. And again, it, it wasn't the wings version of that. It was, it, it was, let's duke it out. And I, and I stop and I just start, I just start saying, okay, let's slow down now. Let's, let's go back to what we know works. And I breathe and it would go away. Uh, I wish I could say those feelings never come up. They don't. Uh, I, I can't say that that's the truth. They do come up. They, they come up often. I just control them and, and I react. I respond, as you said, a much, much better than I used to. So I'm, uh, I'm real happy with it. Well, it sounds like you're going to continue to use this moving Absolutely. forward. You've got this for the rest of your life. And so I just want to say thank you for sharing your journey. You have been an absolute pleasure to work with. It's so wonderful to see your results and to see you continuing to use this. And I can't wait to see where you are in a year from now. So Me too. <laughs> thank you so much. I've, I've just enjoyed working with you so much in this program. And I, and I feel like I have a new friend coming out of the program as well. Not only in you and your wife as well. Absolutely. Thank you, Julie. Thank you so much.